my remnants. Let's all praise here together. Okay. Welcome to Wednesday Remnant Worship. Let's praise this together. Perfect you are, my God, righteous and holy in all of your ways. Perfect you are, my God, righteous and holy in all of your ways, revealing your glory in all that you do. All men will worship you. Perfect you are. Perfect you are, my God. Righteous and holy in all of your ways, revealing your glory in all that you do. All men will worship. I will worship you, I will praise your name, for you are the only Lord and King. I will worship you, I will praise your name, for I desire is to honor you. Perfect you are, my God, righteous and holy in all of your ways, revealing your glory in all that you do. All men will worship you. I will worship you, I will praise your name, for you are the only Lord and King. I will worship you, I will praise your name, my desire is to honor you, I will worship you, I will praise your name, for you are the only Lord and King. I will worship you, I will praise your name, my desire is to honor you. My desire is to honor you, Lord. Uh, God, we love you so much, and we thank you for calling us as your remnants, as your children. Um, and we thank you so much for allowing us this blessed time of worship. Uh, the praises that we give to you, may it be a pleasing sound in your ears. Uh, may we be able to truly confess that we are here to worship, we're here to praise, we're here to uh, glorify your name, Lord. Uh, God, uh, allow the remnants to be able to let everything down at this time. Um, and truly be able to just fix their eyes upon you, focus upon you, receive your strength and your grace alone. We love you, we thank you, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. All right, remnants. I pray that. Right, this time of praise, this time of worship is the most strengthening time. Okay, if you guys had a bad day, it's okay, right? Because worship, your this time of praise, this time of message will make it better. Amen. All right, well, let's. All right, let's continue to praise here. Okay. All right, I know that I'm a child of God. All right, here we go. The one, two. And I know that I am a child of God. There is nothing that I need to fear. He has broken all the chains of Satan. How I really love my Jesus. 
Oh, when I say my prayers, you will always hear how I want to share his love with you. Oh, I know I'm a winner just because I know Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And I know that I am a child of God. There is nothing that I need to fear. He has broken all the chains of Satan. How I really love my Jesus. Oh, when I say my prayers, you will always hear how I want to share His love with you. Oh, I know I'm a winner just because I know Jesus is the Christ's Son. All right, let's sing it in Korean. Na 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 ni me chanya, amu gato durepsi hanayo. 사단 권세 깨뜨리신 주님 이 예수님이 제일 좋아요 랄라 기도하지요 응답하지요 이 예수님을 증거합니다 랄라 승리했어요 주는 그리스도 살아계신 하나님의 한번더 나는 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 하나님의 자녀 아무것도 두렵지 않아요 사단 권세 깨뜨리신 주님 예수님이 제일 좋아요 랄라 기도하지요 응답하지요 예수님을 증거합니다 랄라 승리했어요 주는 그리스도 살아계신 하나님의 아들 Is it a more swing beat? I may have been playing it wrong. Sorry, remnants, but it's okay. All right, let's continue to praise here. All right. In conjunction, in, lieu, in, in continuation of being a child of God, right? I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, right? Uh, if today was a bad day, it's okay, right? I know it's raining outside, right? I hope, I hope no one had a bad day because it's raining outside. But even, even if you did, okay, once again, I pray that you guys can receive the greatest blessings through today's worship, okay? Receive God's strength, receive God's wisdom, receive God's wisdom, okay? Because God loves you and cares for you. All right, remember that? So let's praise us together. All right, I'm a child of God, I'm a covenant kid. All right, here we go. I'm a child of God, I'm a covenant king, I'm a child of God, believing in his promises, I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God, I'm a covenant king, I'm a child of God, believing in his promises, Jesus, Jesus. Forgives my sins, Jesus. He's always leading me, Jesus. Answers my prayers, Jesus. Gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God. Believing in His promises, Jesus forgives. Jesus. Forgives my sin, Jesus. He's always leading me, Jesus. Answers my prayers, Jesus. Gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God. Believing in His promises. Believing, believing in His promise. Believing, believing in His power. All right, here we go. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come. And His bride has made us. So let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come. And His bride has made us. Right. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty. All right, here we go. Let us read. Let us rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made us a hallelujah. 
Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Amen. All right. I hope that's one of your favorite praises for this next month because we're going to do it every single time now. All right, here we go. Next one, REM song. Now, I have been asked to do the yeah, yeah, yeah part, uh, but I'm not going to. Okay. Unless, unless someone texts me in the next 10 seconds to do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, no one texted me. Here we go. Uh, you will never give in. I felt the text. Do you will never give in or give wings? To overcome whatever comes your way. You are God's pride apple of his eye. Yes, it's you and it's me. Right now, all right, here we go. And God is with you now and always. Moving on, on in all your ways. We will go to that land, to the place in God's plan. We will praise the name of Jesus. For joy, Our English, let's go back and forth with English and Korean. Never give in or give way. Let's challenge our brains. Overcome whatever comes your way. Let's sing it in Korean now. English, God is with you now and always. Moving on, on, in all your way. Create, to name it, to sit down. To Oh, I can't do it either. Here we go. You will never give in or give wings. Overcome whatever comes your way. You are God's pride apple of his eye. Yes, it's you. And it's me, we are the Lord's remnant. God is with you now and always. Moving on, on, and in all 
The fear do I have for you may go. You're a right now. God's given you strength to change the stage today. Emmanuel, God's with me for always. Day by day, light by your word. Day by day, when I pray, you give me new strength. Day by day. I will take the gospel, live a life as the evangelist for you. God has given, God has given you strength to change your life. You're a right now. It's a strength to change the field wherever you may go. You're a right now. God's given you strength to change this age today. Emmanuel, God's with me for always. Day by day by day, led by your word. Day by day, when I pray, you give me new strength. Day by day, I will take the gospel. Live my life as the evangelist. Day by day, by Simtara. Day by day, my Simtara. Day by day, Ojikido ye himuro. Day by day, to your pogum de God, to die, Kirgage has also. Is there a weakness? Is there a weakness too great? That's greater than the grace of Jesus Christ. Is there a wanting too strong? That's strong enough to block the covenant. Day by day, day by day, light by your word. Day by day, when I pray you give me new strength. Day by day, I will take the gospel. Live my life as deep and day by day, my simtara. Day by day, my simtara. Day by day, Ojikido ye himuro. Day by day, to your pogum dergo, don't die. Kirgage, one more time on day by day. Day by day, my simtara. Day by day, Ojikido ye himuro. Day by day, to your pogum dergo, don't die. Kirgage has hosa. 전도자의 길 가게 전도자의 길 가게 하소서 Amen right, Let's continue to praise here God is so good and He's so good to me And God is so God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God is so good. God is so
blessed Lord, O oh, my soul and all that is within me, bless His holy name, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and He will do great. He will do great things. He will do great things. He will do great things. He's so good to me. Let's confess that. Let's praise that one more time. God is so good. God is so good, hallelujah, God is so good, hallelujah, God is so good, he's so good to Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful time of worship. Uh, may the remnants really be able to have that confession, really be able to have the experience um, of, of this amazing gospel um, and be able to say that God is so good, uh, that he is doing and he will do great things because of the covenant that you've given to these remnants, Lord. Uh, may they be able to really know how amazing of an identity and how amazing of a blessing that they have all already received. And may they be able to enjoy it uh, to the fullest day by day as we continue to follow after your word, as we continue to find ourselves inside of prayer and inside of uh, the thoughts of evangelism and within the thoughts of the evangelists, Lord. Bless this time. Uh, bless the remnants. Uh, bless, the, uh, bless your ministers. Bless your pastors here at this time. Uh, that those that relay uh, the word uh, would truly be able to be led by uh, your uh, uh, by your uh, by your working of the Holy Spirit, Lord, upon all of the hearts of the remnants, may you be able to pr uh, prepare it like uh, like a well, uh, like a like a good soil, so that uh, the word of God that is proclaimed here at this time would truly be able to be embedded, imprinted in the hearts of the remnants, Lord. We thank you so much, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, remnants, let's get ready for today's message. For today, let's open up to Friday's prayer because I feel like it relates better to today's message. Friday, okay. Person who is blessed. Three, two, one. May I delight only in the law of the Lord today as well and be the one who meditates on your law day and night. Law of the Lord, three, two, one. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Prayer for evangelism missions, three, two, one. May I be consumed with the word today as well and testify that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. Uh, let's pray the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, you rose again, you ascended into heaven. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the holy universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. I am getting sick of this coconut virus. I miss you remnants. Okay, today's message. Morning, day, and night. Morning, day, and night. Because of this virus and quarantine, I'm sure your 
daily schedule is different from when you were attending school. Let's talk about morning, day, and night, the life of the evangelist. Today's Bible verses comes from Psalms chapter 5, verse 3, and chapter 17, verse 3. Psalms 5, 3. I have it up here. Let's read it together. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. And 17, verse 3. Though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me, you will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed or sinned. Okay, so morning and night. Our lesson objective, Jesus' life, Jesus' power to experience working of the Holy Spirit when morning, day, and night. Take a few seconds to write this down. Jesus' life, Jesus' power to experience working of Holy Spirit morning, day, and night. Give it 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Moving on. Okay. Um, you guys ready for a quiz? Quiz time. Do any of your remnants know what AM and PM stand for? Stands for this, <laughs> anti-meridium, post-meridium. It just means before noon, after noon. Okay, next question. When do we eat breakfast? Kumiko-san? Miss Lewis? Mom? In the morning, correct. Good job. Okay, when do we eat lunch? In the afternoon? During the day, right? Daytime. When do we eat dinner? Teacher Christina says night. Yeah, night time. Good job, you guys passed the quiz. Now us remnants, our life should not revolve around our meals, food, but around word, prayer, and evangelism. First point, remnants need to receive strength in the morning. Remnants need to receive strength in the morning. Okay, now due to the quarantine, what time do you usually wake up. Some people might wake up early. Some people might wake up late. Some people might wake up and go back to sleep and then wake up late. Okay, so we all have a time that we wake up, right? Or some people might just wake up whenever they want. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Answer this question to yourself. First thing you do in the morning when you wake up. Maybe you turn off the alarm on your phone. Maybe you use the, the bathroom. Maybe you guys feel rushed. Like you're rushing to go to school, you're rushing to go to work. You're getting dressed really fast. Yeah. 
Maybe you wake up and there's nothing else to do because it's quarantine, right? Maybe you decide to go back to sleep. Maybe you go on your smartphone or turn on the computer, play your video games, or open up your laptop for remote learning. But minutes, think. While you guys were going to school, and even now during quarantine, what's the first thing I do when I wake up? What's the first thing I think about when I wake up? Am I waking up to the sounds of my parents telling me to wake up? Now, how do you think the rest of your day will go if you start off your day feeling rushed or lazy or on your smartphone or hearing yelling? Maybe your day will not, it's off to a bad start. Okay, then what should us remnants do? These are just basics. Remnants, Start your day with leisure. Leisure means maybe you have some spare time to yourself, but it's not to ourselves, it's with God, okay? So remnants, say your alarm is for 7.30 a.m. Wake up a few minutes earlier, so set your alarm back, maybe for 7.15 or 7.10. So you guys, remnants need to wake up, have leisure, and so that we can start our day right with God, right? So there, I'm sure there are remnants already doing this, waking up early in advance, doing your prayer journals, doing your scheduled prayer. But if you're not, challenge yourself little by little. Start with five minutes before, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you want to challenge yourself even more, maybe one hour. So wake up on your own without your parents telling you to so that you can have some leisure time with God, okay? Start, let's start our day off right. Okay, so say you woke up 30 minutes ahead of when you usually wake up, what do you have to do now? I would suggest starting your day with your prayer journal, okay? Now, Prayer journal, just because you do your prayer journal doesn't mean it's scheduled prayer. It, you have to also read God's word, okay? So fit prayer journal, reading the Bible, and also listening to praise in the morning, okay? This is how remnants should start your day off right. Why? Because what's the most important strength that we need? Spiritual strength, right? Now, when I say praise, I'm not saying put on your headphones and turn on, did you feel the mountains tremble? Or one way Jesus, something really loud. Get in a habit of in the morning, listening to quiet meditation, maybe piano, violin, or cello praise. That's soothing to the soul, okay? So in the morning, start le with leisure, start with God's word and praise. So remnants, we need to start our day off correctly, okay? Your parents shouldn't be forcing you to wake up. Classy remnants, wake up on your own, okay? And have this time of leisure. What does this mean starting your day off right? Let me give you an example. Pastor Shin used to give this example all the time. Say you have a button-up shirt. If you don't start with the top button and you start with the top button and the second hole 
and then you button all the way down. In the end, you see that, oh, you have to start all over, right? You were off to the wrong start. So from the beginning, every single day, have a correct start with God's word. Button the first, right? Start it correctly. You guys getting this example? Also, adults, how do we start our day? Maybe with a cup of coffee, right? A little pick-me-up, but us remnants and adults, we need to start with spiritual coffee, right? God's word should give us spiritual strength for our soul, for our spirit, through praise, clear our minds, right? Have a correct start every single day, okay? So that's what Remnant David used to do. David used to go out in dawn, at dawn, take care of the sheep. And during that time, this is where he wrote God's word, read God's word, praised God, and received spiritual strength so that he could live for the rest of the, the day, right? It says, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectedly. Expectedly. Okay. Now, we receive strength during the day. Now we have the rest of our day, right? So in the morning, remnants focus on God's word. Okay? God's word. So prayer journal, Bible, praise, but focus on God's word. That's important, okay? We need to become morning people, morning remnants. Have leisure. Like what? Point number two. Confirm answers during the day. Okay, so now we receive spiritual strength. During the day, we're going to meet people. We're going to be in different fields. It's go time, right? So during the day, what do we need to do? Oh, okay, so we have school. All right, now we don't have school, but we have remote learning. We could see other classmates and our teachers online. Yeah, remote learning. And then at home, maybe your parents have activities for you to do. Or maybe you have lots of free time, right? It's quarantine, lots and lots of free time. So we started our day off right with spiritual strength, holding on to God's word. But during the day, when we're concentrating on doing other things, we need a time to recharge our spiritual battery, okay? So during the day, it's go time, go, 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 right? But remnants, you need to get in the habit of taking a step back and finding a quiet time by yourself to recharge your spiritual battery, okay? Find your method. Recharge your spiritual battery. And how do we do that? What do we do during the day? We just enjoy God being with us, right? We confirm God's answers. So during the day, we can see, if we're holding on to God's word, oh, God is controlling my life. God's in control. He allows me to meet new people. He allows me to think about people I should pray for. We can see God taking care of things that we, we aren't able to take care of. God gives us problems so that we can learn from them because God has an answer behind it. So during the day, we are just confirming answers. But here's the thing. During the day, you need to focus on evangelism, okay? So how do we experience the working of the Holy Spirit, guidance of the Holy Spirit? We need to focus on evangelism and saving souls. So in the morning, what do you focus on? word. During the day, focus on evangelism, right? Why do we need to gain spiritual strength? So that God can use us to save souls, right? If we focus on evangelism, then we see 
where we can confirm that, oh, God is taking care of my life. God's taking care of my needs. And a Bible verse that goes with that is, hey, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. This is a confession that David confessed. Right? So during the day, think about this. Think about evangelism. Oh, and you will experience the Lord being our shepherd. He takes care of everything during the day. As long as we're focusing on the word, evangelism, and what do you think comes next? Okay, nighttime. So during the day, we're, we're in the morning we receive strength. During the day, we just confirm answers and enjoy Emmanuel, do our best, do what we're supposed to do, like Joseph when he was a slave, when David when he was a shepherd boy, uh, Daniel, all these remnants during the day, they did what they're supposed to do as they enjoyed Emmanuel, and they constantly thought about evangelism. Now at night, we need to receive healing. Okay, so it's nighttime. What time do you remnants go to sleep? During quarantine, what's your schedule looking like? Some remnants might be staying up super late. Some remnants may be sleeping early. But what do you remnants do before you go to sleep? I want you to answer that question in your head. Think about what you do before you go to sleep. Are you playing video games? Are you playing Fortnite? Minecraft? Are you on your smartphone? Are you watching YouTube? Are you watching TikTok? Maybe some remnants are watching movies on their TV or on your computer. What you do, remnants, before you go to sleep I guess some scientists say that it, it gets stored in your brain, in your subconscious. But think, remnants, what are you imprinting in yourself, in your mind, in your heart, before you go to sleep? Should it be games, movies? What do you think God wants? Some remnants, maybe they're reading books before you go to sleep. Okay. So remnants, our night, during the night, when we're by ourselves, in our rooms, all alone, we need to experience healing, okay? So during the day, in the morning, we receive strength from God's word. During the day, we just confirmed answers that God gave us. And now at night, we need a time to reflect Think about the answers that God gave us during the day. Think about the people God allowed us to meet that day. For example, Deidre Jinster met my students online. Deidre Jinster met teachers. Right? Think about who you met during the day. Another thing. Think about how God fulfilled his word that day, all right? So remnants doing prayer journal and reading the Bible in the morning. Think about how did God fulfill this? What did God teach me during the day? Okay, think about what answers God's given us during the day. Think about who God allowed me to meet. Why? Because during the day, what do you have to focus on? Evangelism. Once you focus on that, then God takes care of everything else. And now at night, it's a time to plan for the next day. Okay? So in your prayer journals or in your own personal diaries, write the names of the people you're going to meet. If you need to prepare any evangelism material, prepare that then. Pray for those people. Right? So at night, it's a time to plan. Okay, And at night, also, read over your message notes from 
Sunday worship, Wednesday worship, Friday worship, right? So read over God's the message notes. Right? This is getting specific now. In the morning, prayer journal, Bible, praise. During the day, enjoy manual. At night, prayer journal one more time. You're writing the people you're going to meet, but you're also reading over your message notes, okay? Now here's the most important part at night. In the morning, it was the word. During the day, it was evangelism. At night, enter into prayer, okay? This is a time where you can really concentrate on God. So many remnants. We have a difficult time praying for a long period of time, right? If I say, okay, remnants, let's pray during Friday night service with the adults, but then it's kind of hard for the remnants to pray for that entire 15 minutes. Remnants, this is how you build up your prayer concentration, right? And you're alone in your room by yourself anyways, Instead of laying down and praying, let's have the correct attitude, correct posture. We're praying to our God, our Heavenly Father. Have you guys ever tried this remnant? Actually kneeling down and praying? Maybe facing outside towards the window? This is a quiet, personal time with God. So I don't like telling you guys to do things, but... Try it out, okay? And in your prayer, you'll be able to just enjoy thanksgiving, peace, strength, reflection, and ultimately your spirit will receive healing, okay? Let's see what Remnant David said. Though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me, you will find I have planned no evil right god's watching over us morning day and night the least we could do is focus on god too right so remnants prepare at night okay how remnants get ready for bed let's go johnny boy all right so morning receive strength focus on the word during the day, confirm answers, focus on evangelism. At night, receive healing, focus on prayer. Our life, remnants' lives, must, must revolve around word, prayer, and evangelism. Okay? All right, so I gave you some expectations. So remnants, you guys should be thinking, okay, so what should I do? What are things that I need to change in my daily schedule? Mm. Am I doing what Teacher Jinster told us to do? Or am I doing the negative things that Teacher Jinster told us not to do? Right? So make small changes, little by little. I don't want you guys to change overnight. Right? The little baby steps. Maybe not watching us or being on your smartphone before you go to sleep, or maybe waking up five minutes earlier, actually writing down the names of the people you're going to meet, planning ahead for the next day, right? And challenge, okay? So remember, God gave us his covenant, his promise. He's going to use us for world evangelization, but us remnants, we can't just sit still and do nothing. We need to do our part. Word, prayer, evangelism, morning, day, and night. Okay, remnants? So how am I going to challenge myself in the morning? Remember, remember, in the morning, it should be focused on the word and receiving strength. So think and plan. What can I do in the morning to live a lifestyle of the evangelist, a life that God is pleased with? What can I do during the day to recharge my spiritual battery, to take a step back? And what can I do at night before I go to sleep? Okay? So, remember, our life, remnants' lives, must be revolving around God's word, 
during the day, prayer at night, and evangelism during the day. Okay? We can see Remnant Daniel. He did this as well. He prayed three times a day. Paul, Peter, right? They all did scheduled prayer in the synagogue, in the temple. And Remnant David. Now, Psalm chapter 1 says, blessed is, the, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Okay? Remnants? Strength in the morning. God's word. Confirm answers during the day. Evangelism. Healing at night. Prayer challenge and make small changes okay and let's live the life of the evangelist that god is most pleased with so morning day and night what does jesus life jesus power have to do with morning day and night you could have form about it with your uh, teachers good night sleep tight and dream of world evangelization tonight Okay, if you don't, if you don't, if you can't meet for hangouts, please post your prayer topics. Uh, hold the answer to today's message. I'll pray for us, and we'll split into our groups. Dear Lord, thank you so much. Help us to be remnants who receives your spiritual strength in the morning, who confirms your answers during the day, and receives healing at night. Help us to focus and live our lives centered on word, prayer, and evangelism, and live the life of the evangelist that you are most pleased with. Thank you so much. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.